Hi, I'm Terry Robinson from ScanHub. This is a short um, introduction to 3D scanning, 3D laser scanning of uh, vehicle chassis. Um, here you see VW uh, Amarok, I think it's a 2016 model. Amarok um, was scanned uh, in the cover of a workshop and um, we have some, um, some annotations here which are dimensions taken of certain parts of the chassis in the back. But to give you an idea of how many scan positions uh, we took, um, the laser scanning positions, I'll turn on the um, what's called the mirror balls here, which basically shows us uh, the, pos the position of the scanner head in relation to the vehicle. So as you can see there, as I rotate around this vehicle, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, approximately eight um, scanner positions at around about uh, 1.8 metre in height off the ground. So <clears throat> each of these scanner positions covers a certain portion of the vehicle and because they overlap we now have a 3D point cloud model of the vehicle. Um, you will notice that uh, underneath the vehicle wasn't scanned so there's, there's little data underneath because we didn't bring the scanner down and put it down underneath the vehicle which we can do. So basically uh, we have a, a top down scan here. Uh, we haven't even concentrated so much on the um, on the roof of the vehicle either so that the scanner positions could have been a little bit higher um, just to capture more uh, information on the roof here but because the scanner positions were nearly in line with the roof level perhaps a little bit higher uh, the the laser skimmed across the top of the roof uh, if we wanted to capture this roof in more detail we would do two or three scan positions up up at a, maybe a uh, 2.5 meters in height off the ground with a higher tripod setting and we'd capture more detail on the roof but anyway, here we, here we have the uh, vehicle uh, scanned and uh, we can rotate in 3D and basically come down and, uh, and zoom in on the area of interest. So if I go on the top here and uh, uh, zoom in, I can then bring this chassis into full view. And here you'll see basically from the rear of the cab to the uh, end of the chassis is a point cloud with... Um, there's probably a few million points in there. And um, what we've done is we've sprayed the uh, mounting points, the mounting holes here with a yellow chalk spray. So we've just used a little quick spray of yellow chalk on these mounting points here. And uh, it just helps to highlight the holes, the mounting holes that we then want to measure up. The scanner will pick up the holes anyway, but by putting that yellow chalk on there, just differentiates the holes away from the black and dusty chassis uh, that we've scanned from in this case. Now because we've scanned uh, with multiple positions, uh, probably uh, four positions around the rear end of this vehicle, uh, we've got a reasonable amount of detail. We don't want to see uh, necessarily the muffler and the, the lower detail down underneath the vehicle, the tail shaft not of interest, even the wheels and, uh, and a lot of the suspensions not of interest. But what is of interest is where the fuel filler comes in and where the, uh, the rear of the cab is in relation to the, uh, the top of the tyres and the chassis. Uh, but also very importantly, um, when we look uh, at the side view here, um, where the mounting points are in relation to each other in 3D, three dimensions. So you can see these three mounting points, one, two, and three, are not on the same plane. They're in different positions uh, and not, uh, not exactly 90 degrees either to the rear of the, uh, the cabin. So when we're designing... Uh, 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 canopies and toolboxes and various things to fit onto the rear of this vehicle it's actually quite important to get these measurements correct and also the envelope correct so that you can actually see um, in more detail and allow the CAD uh, drafting guys uh, to have uh, more accuracy in terms of their drafting. I'm going to turn the mirror balls off so we don't have to worry about looking at those and I'll just come back here, down here and have a look at the top of this vehicle we'll rotate it around and then we'll zoom back in and uh, you'll see that we have some measurements here that have already been taken. Um, the scanner has a plus or minus uh, uh, 0 0.8 millimeter accuracy at, at five meter range, so we can get quite accurate as long as we've select uh, the correct uh, points, uh, but you know the correct place uh, to measure from, um, we get accurate measurements down to 0 0.8 millimeters, which is pretty close. We have uh, in the measuring tool we are able to measure with. Um, 
with 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 a surface tool that picks up surfaces with an ortho uh, orthogonal tool that allows us to work in the x y or z planes the three-dimensional planes and we could do a 3d dimensional measurement uh, between any two points in the point cloud regardless of whether they're in a an x y or z plane or they're random um, points um, we've already done these measurements so i won't do them again um, if i want to go back and uh, and look at this in um, in a in a real view which is uh, looking at the uh, vehicle from the photographs taken by the scanner we press the re real view button here and uh, we now will come into the actual photographs that were captured inside this uh, workshop and you can see this the measurements are repeated on the actual vehicle so we can now see with photography uh, quite a lot of detail here as well we can uh, we can zoom in uh, and and also go to another scan position so if I turn the uh, mirror balls back on um, I can uh, I can go to um, uh, to any of the other positions so if you look over here here's a plan view of the mirror balls there's the vehicle sitting in here and if we click on this mirror ball here we'll come and take a uh, a different view of that vehicle um, from this scanner position point of view and as you can see the scanner head is just glancing across the roof of this car so that's why uh, some of the detail in the roof is missing um, Having said that, if we want to go back to the point cloud and and, uh, and measure, we can go back by pressing the 3D button and uh, we're straight back to the point cloud here now. Uh, a really important feature of uh, this particular application we're in at the moment, which is called uh, Autodesk Recap uh, 360 Pro, is the ability to um, use a limit box to get rid of any information we don't want to see so that we can then export the point cloud out to a CAD tool. We do this generally by using the limit box so if I uh, click the, uh, the limit box edit function, I can then uh, come along here and uh, and make settings such as uh, grabbing uh, one of the planes of this limit box here, pulling it down to say just almost to the end of the cab, um, uh, bringing the limit box up to uh, part the way through the tires uh, and hit the confirm button. I now can basically limit the information that I'm getting by um, giving me just the information I want to see. Now this information is uh, is now exportable into a CAD in various CAD formats, uh, formats that will go into a CAD. We can also um, create uh, mesh files from this so we can send this uh, point cloud up to Autodesk and uh, a few minutes later we'll come back with a mesh file such as an STL or an OBJ or a remake file that we can then send off uh, to a CAD uh, um, operator. If we want to export just this point cloud, we can go here and export in uh, in a recap format or a unified recap format, which is called RCS, or in PTS format, E57 or PCG. Uh, it, most of these formats uh, are, are common into, in the CAD industry. Um, quite often, uh, E57 is a very f popular format. But we can also convert, uh, ScanHub can also convert these into uh, other formats as well, such as XYZ. So um, there we have it, uh, just a short tutorial on what we can do when we come to scanning uh, trucks uh, and uh, small light vehicle chassis. Uh, but this applies to any engineering uh, uh, design work where you want to capture detail in great accuracy and uh, model it up in 3D. Thank you very much.